Hello, happy trippers! It's me again, Andre the Tripper. Welcome back to my channel. And it's been a while, yes? And if you follow my channel, my last trip was the 4th of July trip to Destin, Florida. Since then, I wasn't able to make any vlog because I had flare up with my gout arthritis in my left big toe. Yes, guys, it was too painful and I cannot make any trip. So in today's vlog, we will make another form of trip. And today it is educational trip and we will be talking about gout arthritis. So guys, stay tuned. So as I told you earlier, in today's vlog, we will be talking about gout arthritis. And our second topic, we will be talking about what are the best ways to prevent or avoid flare-up of gout arthritis. And the main topic actually in today's vlog, I wanted to share the best shoes to wear whenever you have gouty arthritis. So if you don't know, I am actually a physical therapist and I've been seeing patients with gout arthritis. And also personally, I have this problem for like five years now. So I could be a good resource, resource person to talk about gout arthritis. So what is gout arthritis? It is a form of arthritis that usually take place or commonly take place in your big toe and it could also be on another joints but it is very common on your big toe so it is or you will be having a severe pain a redness a swelling and it is very tender to touch and there will be a deformity on your big toe so what are the causes of gout arthritis Guys, it could be acquired or it could be hereditary. In my case, it is both acquired and hereditary because my grandmother on my father's side, she actually suffered a lot of gout arthritis. And also, I am Filipino and most of our diet or our food, it is usually made of the red meat and the organ meat seafood such as uh, sardines mussels scallops trout as well as tuna fish alcohol such as beer vodka and fruit sweetened cocktails so i mentioned about red meat seafood and beer what's inside this food that can cause gout arthritis. Actually guys, these foods or these drinks, they are actually rich in purine. Purine, whenever they are present in our body, our body then secrete a lot of uric acid. And if there is a lot of uric acid in our system, they could accumulate in our joints. That can cause pain, inflammation and deformity guys how to avoid flare-up of our gout arthritis guys it's very easy i already gave you the list of food and drinks to avoid so as much as possible avoid them and if not then just take them in moderation as well as occasionally and in my case I cannot avoid beer because whenever I go out with my friends, they always offer beer. So if I have other option, I tried uh, rum as well as a vodka, but I'll mix it with another uh, flavor, not the, not the fruity one. And also in my case, maybe in a year, I only have like a flare up of two to three times. And I already talked this to my doctor and my doctor won't advise me to take the Algepirinol as well as the Colchicine because these medications, 
they can help prevent flare-up of gut arthritis, but they do have side effects. So what I am taking or what are my precautionary measures whenever I have a small flare-up, like I know there is something wrong already in my big toe, then I'll start taking ibuprofen because ibuprofen, they do have anti-inflammatory effects. And also, okay, I I usually put my uh, left foot on a ice cold water. So I have I I, I, li I have a little container with a lot of ice, and then I put my left foot in there for like ten minutes. I mentioned earlier about the shoes that I wear whenever I have flare up with my gouty arthritis. Actually, I found these shoes accidentally. When I went to Dillard's, uh, the salesperson uh, introduced these shoes to me and he said, this is a new brand and I really don't know the brand, but it looks very cool. And the name of the shoes is Hey Dude. Okay, so this is Hey Dude. I don't know exactly the, the name of the style or the model, but this is their main product and it is very comfortable. It's lightweight and whenever you are wearing this, it seems like you're not wearing any shoe. That's how comfortable it is. And uh, when I had my flare up of my gout arthritis, I was like looking through my closet and I do have uh, several shoes because I love shoes a lot. And most of my shoes, they are too tight, especially on the front part of the shoes. It, uh, even it is, it has a wider uh, toe box but the material is too hard that could aggravate the pain of my gout arthritis. So comparing to this uh, shoes, look at this one here. This is the location of my, of my big toe. Okay. The material here is so soft that it could not aggravate the pain of my gout arthritis. And so I was so happy that I, I bought the shoes and I bought this one for like $56 uh, before, but now I guess they increased the price to $59. And I was like, I was so happy that I have that shoes because as a physical therapist, we are, we are always uh, encouraged to, weigh, to wear a uh, a closed shoes and as much as possible uh, a non-skid shoes because we need traction in order to to be safe at work and aside of wearing this in my workplace I also wear this uh, on my day-to-day -day basis because it is very stylish look at it it has a modern style and it's very easy to fit on because it has a garterized shoelaces. So it's very easy, it's fast and easy to wear, and it is very comfortable. And aside from that, okay, uh, if you have gout arthritis, even wearing a socks, it is very painful. So in this case, I don't have to wear socks, and I, I don't mind if I don't wear socks because this is washable. You can easily uh, remove the, sh the shoe insert and then you throw this in the washing machine. But guys, make sure that the water is not warm. So wash this with a cold water and after washing it in the washing machine, do not put this in the uh, dryer. Just uh, dry this one in uh, with a with the air, or we call it air drying. 
so because it has a tendency to shrink so guys i highly recommend especially those people who has gout arthritis and they have difficulty finding best shoes to wear when whenever they have flare up guys i highly recommend hey dude they have their own uh, website and guys this is in this is in demand because it's been two months now that i've been uh, searching for my size 7 and they don't have any more size 7 for the color black i really want to have black because i want to wear it in my workplace and of course it's uh it's not easy to be dirty so, so guys i hope you learn from my vlog today you know already the causes or the cause of gout arthritis so guys what we're going to do let's try to avoid those food and beverages that could increase uh, gout arthritis or that could lead to aggravation of our gout arthritis and if in case you not you cannot avoid those uh, food and beverages at least uh, try to have them in moderation and take them occasionally and guys you know already uh, the best shoes i really recommend the shoes because if it helps me it will also help you so guys thank you so much and i hope you learn from my uh, vlog today and i hope that you will continue to watch my vlogs in the future so guys bye for now